Art is humankind's single most expansive artificial form of expression. From music, literature, to choreography, and even the performing arts. The world of art's inflation is parallel to the evolution of mankind. Sprouting tens of thousands of years ago with the first ever examples of visual art we can see from cave walls, and growing all the way to the present, where technological innovations contribute to innovative forms of art. Art will cease to exist when individuality dies, but what validates something as art? Natural design is among the largest branches of art. Accountability and stand on art knowledge as an artistic creation and only a tool to serve its function. Those St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia and Piano House in China are highly regarded as masterpieces. Some buildings may have the same or even greater levels of intricacy than these, but receive different responses. Is it because they are around really art? There is not an answer to this question, at least not one that will please all. This is because art has many judges, but it is unjudgeable itself. For example, from the world's perspective, Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh is merely an arrangement of oils. However, include one's opinion and it can become anything as well as nothing. Art is entirely subjective. There is no is in art, but only can. The only realness in art is the emotion it initiates. After surveying over 100 people, we've come to the conclusion that most people would rather have a natural image of a lake than a graffiti Donald Duck. We wanted to get more interactive with people, so we asked them this question. Um, art is a way to express one's emotions, thoughts, feelings on a certain subject matter or just to express themselves through a medium. And it can be any kind of medium, it can be through food, it can be through paint, it can be through pencils, it can be through a tablet, a computer, it can be anything you want it to be and it's supposed to appeal to the senses and yeah, it's just supposed to be an experience and that's supposed to really just analyze the, the senses, yeah. Art is uh, expression of oneself, it is uh, freedom, uh, when uh, I'm doing art, when I'm performing art, because uh, I used to do theater, um, it was a chance to have an escape and to uh, entertain people and give them something to enjoy. It's something that people make to make other people feel something or to express their feelings like on a canvas with paint or write a story. Um, huh, I don't know what I mean, I guess it's just uh, your creative thinking being put into physical manifestation so this could see. We managed to get in contact with Nate Dean, a well-known mural artist. Okay, so the mask, they symbolize a lot of different things. With the mask, um, the wear of the mask is tapping into the power of the mask. Uh, the majority of the stuff that I paint is of women and um, it's uh, a way of responding to the historical view of women in art. You know, historically, when you see women in art, they don't have power, their voice is taken away from them. So with me, I try to give them their voice back, and then um, that animal usually represents different elements of power. So when the person wearing the mask is basically tapping into that power. What's the reason for you becoming a teacher? I think that in order to master something, you should, you should be able to teach it as well. So, because of that, I figured being a teacher, one, the schedule affords me to also um, spend a lot of time on my art, and it also helps me to hone and be stronger in the way I create my art and the, uh, the psychology behind why you'd want to take, create art and stuff like that. So, I think that uh, it kind of reinforces my art. Being a better artist makes me a better teacher. Being a better teacher also makes me a better artist. Yes. How do you balance your life between your family and your art and your work? Planning. <laughs> you got to be a great planner. Uh, usually, I know what I'm doing throughout the week, and so that I can dedicate certain times to all each thing, and can't waste time. <laughs> Basically. Here, we're showing one of Nate's most recent paintings. This this painting is called the Majestic Wander. Basically, with my paintings, uh, the wearer is tapping. 
um, I think I told you about this before, where it's basically tapping or, or whatever the power is that the animal represents. So um, the, this is a stag. Stags are, are seen as being uh, wise, they're also majestic, they also have a connection to nature and the forest and things like that. Um, they're also wanderers. So because of that, that's why I decided to do this piece and that's why it's titled uh, The Majestic Wander. Um, and like I said before, in a lot of, in a lot of the paintings that I do, um, they have a cultural context to them and they kind of uh, focus on what the animal means within a given culture. to Winwood and got in contact with the prominent graffiti artist Atomic. What's the reasoning behind these orange as your tag? The orange came from the demolition of the Miami Orange Bowl in Little Havana. 2007 they started demolishing it and then they finished the demolition in 2008. I painted like a dedication piece I guess or you know commemorating the uh, the Orange Bowl and then from there it just um, it caught on better than the letters because I had been painting letters for like 15 years doing like my tag name and my crews and stuff and I got a much better response with the um, with the orange than I did with the letters so I just fed off of that people's uh, you know reactions and what is art to you? Art to me is pretty much it's my life I mean that's what I am um, that's what I love to do I mean I'm painting for 20 plus years and I paint you know every day or draw every day and um, I just I love to paint to me um, it started off as just um, a hobby and something that um, I did for myself but now it's grown into my career and I you know travel all around the world with it and it's it's basically art is like my life it's my career it's my my hobby and it's, it's what I enjoy doing. I have a fiance. We're getting married in um, October. How do you balance this and her? She's very cool and very um, understanding of my um, dedication to my craft. In conclusion, art is a creation of, as well as a spawn for opinions, but one irrefutable fact can be derived from it. It is an embodiment of our personalities, our imagination, what appeals to us, what we discussed. All these pieces extracted to create something one can be proud of.